Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Before I start, if you would like to leave Lord Jabu Jabu, just walk towards his teeth. Yeah, now his mouth is always open, so you can enter him and exit him, whatever you want to. Anyway, let's start the dungeon. We've got an Octorok here. Uh, wait, actually... What I, act what I should have is uh, my Deku shield out to deflect their rocks back at them. They're kind of like a uh, Deku scrub in that way. Anyway, these uh, bubbles here, they're Shabombs or whatever the heck they are. They are they just bounce around the room. They don't really do all that much, ow, except touch you and hit you and yeah. But otherwise, uh, take a look at up here. Yes, there are actually cows stuck in inside Lord Jabu Jabu. Does he get, did he get like cowpox or something like that? I don't know, but I'm getting kind of nauseated here. I mean, what the heck does this fish eat anyway? Well, I might as well get out the bomb. So there we go. And let's just plop one down here. Something tells me this is not the intended solution, or maybe it is. Um, Mm, this gives me a treasure chest, but I have no idea what will come of this chest. I just knew that I had to blow up that boulder to get something. I could clearly see a switch underneath it. It's the map, and we already know what the heck that does. Okay. <laughs> so I'm guessing... Yes! <laughs> That's what I thought. Just like those murals back at the... Um, um, if you recall, oh, a treasure chest, way back at the Dodongo's Cavern, where you had to hit those murals with bomb blasts, and where, oh, there it is. <laughs> and, yeah, so some things, why would I need Deku Nuts? Why would I need such a useless thing? I don't know. Anyway, let's go through here. And, as I said before, there's a lot of things in Master Quest that seem, oh, there's another cow. <laughs> All right, let's 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 just shoot this cow and see what becomes of it. Bomb. And a chest. Where... Wait, wait, is something wrong? Oh, 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 these are uh, berries, I think. Yeah. Uh, you can't really do anything about these. Wait, maybe you can shoot them. Whoa! Yeah. Okay, let me through here. I don't know what the heck that jiggly thing is, but it's pretty dang gross. But I, I'm pretty sure you can shoot these. No, you can't shoot them. Oh, wait, or did I miss? No, I definitely didn't miss there, okay. These things, they're, they are extremely gross. Just saying, um, you need the boomerang to stun them. Anyway, I'm assuming you're supposed to drop down here, so let's just drop down here. <laughs> and, oh, is this where the treasure chest appeared? Uh, these blue things, I mean, this, this, uh, watery like barrier I'll be able to get rid of later you'll you'll know what I mean by that um, let's see what do we have underwater is that another cow is that yes it is another cow why are all these cows here I'm getting freaked out anyway let's see what is under here and I should just be able to dive underneath here I bet you that cow is another switch just hanging out there what are the cows control the inside of Jabu Jabu's body or something like that well anyway let's shoot the cow just for the heck of it here yep that did oh oh <laughs> I bet you this is the compass I bet you this is the compass or it's the dungeon item, which I highly doubt. Usually you get the compass and the uh, dungeon map before. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so I bet you this stops the water flow. Or that opens the door. For some reason, somehow you get across there. I am quite unsure at this moment. Maybe I'm supposed to use that moving platform to get across there. I don't know. I guess we're going to see. <laughs> Anyway, wait, wait, you guys? Oh, yeah, these are underwater enemies that can come out of the water and attack you. Uh, you don't see them very often, actually, so that's kind of uh, pretty interesting. <laughs> anyway, let's go up here and see if I can completely bypass those wiggly, jiggly blocks of flesh. And yeah, I guess I can. So these, these things are completely useless when it comes to blocking your path. Those guys, however, do a pretty good job. <laughs> so let's just go through here and avoid the berries altogether. 
Ew. Ew. Ah! Are you naked as well? Why? Why are all the Zoras naked? I I'm Link, nice to meet you, but why are you naked? Oh, so you're Ruto. Well, yeah, kind of, after I showed him your letter. I mean, I, I didn't say anything about that at all, no. <laughs> what, do what does she mean she doesn't know what I'm talking about with the letter? Aren't you the one that sent out the letter? Hmm. I have a feeling she's lying or something like that. Then, uh... Oh, poop! I have a feeling we should be following her down this hole. Perhaps, even though it seems kind of... Ugh. Anyway, remember it's remember this thing is like on the far right here, so I'm just gonna explore this room really quick. And this is a very gross dungeon, I have to say. Just saying here. Um, we got a giant jiggly piece of flesh over there. You, I'm getting nauseated here. Uh, okay, let's just let's not look at the jiggly pieces of flesh and just blow things up inside his belly. That should stop his indigestion. And this is where you can climb up from once you drop down below. Um, I, I don't really think there's anything more in this room, and, hmm, okay, I'll, let's just go down. Ugh. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have to be in here, I have to rescue you, dang it. Wait, you have? But, um, hmm, well, evidently it's pretty safe in here, normally. Not this time, though. There's a lot of nasty flesh that will slap you around, and... You know what, I will talk to you again, because... Yes, I am. Now, let, now let's team up and take care of this dungeon together. Wait, what? I have to carry you? Alright, fine. Let's look for the thing you're looking for. Yes, she is the main gimmick of this dungeon. Princess Ruto. You can use her to uh, hit enemy or catch say, kill enemies... Uh, hit switches, leave her on switches, uh, pretty much anything a block could be used for, you can use her for. Or, I should say, a block and the rock. Like, see that jellyfish up there? I am going to kill it with her. <laughs> she is a wonderful weapon, and that's a magic jar. This fills up your magic meter. That was a large one, I think. Um, let's see, kill a bubble! Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, anyway, what does this switch do? I don't know. I bl oh, 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 I bet you I was supposed to be carrying her, because this is a switch that you need her to sit on. It's one of those kinds of switches that um, pop back up once you release the switch from walking off of it. You can tell the switches by their colors, basically. Alright, so let's go back up here and... Do not look up, Link. Do not look up. You may be scarred. Anyway... I thought I could just like plop her on the switch without standing on top of it, but whatever. Okay, so you just leave her there, and I'm probably gonna have to I mean, I'll press this switch again to get myself up there, and then I'll just be able to do a roll jump. Yeah, this water is evidently solid enough for me to walk on. Go figure, don't question the game logic. <laughs> you know what'll happen. You oh, the universal implode, and Liz of Falls will appear out of nowhere. Yeah, they're still just Lizophos. Just Lizophos. Yeah, they're random Lizophos now. They aren't just uh, mini boss Lizophos. And it's it's kind of funny. When I look through my footage and I see a boss enemy, I'm like, yeah, it's a thing. It's, yeah, it's that thing. It's like I'm incredibly disappointed at how easy it is. Oh, God. Was that what I think it was down there? Uh oh. Uh. Yes, it was. Not that thing. This thing. This is a like-like. They eat shields and certain kinds of clothes, like the uh, red and blue tunics, the Zora and... I mean, uh, the Goron and Zora tunics, respectively. Hey! Song of Time Block. And I hear a Skulltula wandering around these fleshy rooms. It's probably on one of those pillars that I can't see from this angle. Anyway... Do not get yourself stuck inside that uh, ginormous gooey thing, the little like likes. And they, they, oh, these things also bury themselves underneath the ground or flesh. That's very, very gross. They're almost like a parasite in that way. Uh, so you can't hit them when they're underneath the uh, flesh there, but you can once they pop out. And can I like... 
Oh, I can kill you with my... No, I'm, I'm targeting the wrong thing here. <laughs> because I, I really wouldn't want to get too close to this thingy here, because it'll suck you in, see what it's trying to do there, and it'll take my shield, and I... Oh, there we go. I have, like, the worst range in the world, except for my slingshot, and yeah, you get the idea. Wow, that's a... A lot of rupees just for killing that one thing. <laughs> oh, come on, pop out of here already, because you're gonna get in my way once I press that switch, and I know. Can I, like. No, 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 no not you. Not. Well, I'll, I'll just shoot at you twice, I guess. No. Why is it so hard to keep a lock on you? Yep, there we go. Now, what does this do? I believe this raises the water level, and if those things are in my way, I. Huh? I wouldn't have been able to do that. And I guess killing all the enemies in the room gave me an item. And wait, 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 wait. Hey, wait, actually, where... Where did that treasure chest... Up here? Oh, up there. <laughs> I was gonna say, I didn't see anything on those uh, bottom two levels there. I completely forgot about the upper area. That's probably where the Skultula is. So let's swim ourselves over to this sticky gunky substance here in you. Alright. I bet you this is the dungeon item. Will we finally get the boomerang? We have been s I didn't want to say any further there because I didn't want to jinx it. <laughs> okay, we have sought after the boomerang for ages and now we can go back to things to pretty much 100% this the whole world that you can have access to at the moment as a kid so that's going to be pretty awesome. Now, where am I hearing this Skultula scuttling around here anyway? How am I able to walk up this wall anyway? <laughs> I think I think something that slimy wouldn't I wouldn't be able to walk up. Oh yeah, that was some mad skills. Now, Skultula. I bet you it's behind that song of time block. Let's let's get a little closer. Yeah, it's behind the Song of Time block, so I'm gonna have to come back to this dungeon later. Dang you! Dang you! I was hoping to 100% this thing since I finally got the boomerang. <laughs> anyway, let's just continue on here. Ah, it's so frustrating. Dang it. Well, at least I got the boomerang, and I'm a little suspicious of these open hallways here. Because you never know when something's gonna pop out in Master Quest, and oh, we're... Back over here, so now I guess this is open now, alright. This, yeah, this is back at the cow room. So, I assume that once I dive underneath here, that uh, water spout that was blocking my path will now be gone. Will it? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Did I just... Oh, crappers. I was on the other side. That was the water spout door that was blocked. <sighs> wait, that... The where else am I supposed to go from here, actually, come to think of it? Because this was a dead-end room. Well, there was those... F oh, oh, the fleshy union room back at the, uh, uh, the stomach area where I dropped down those uh, gooey shoots, basically. Because there was a big old flesh block like that thing blocking the uh, doorway in this room. So, let's see. Now, this is the power of the boomerang. You can use it to kill those uh, berry enemies with a simple flick of your wrists. Yeah, baby. You know what? I'll kill these suckers off because maybe there's a treasure that will appear in this room. Actually, I got the compass and the um, uh, dungeon map, so I guess I'd be able to see any treasures along the way. Uh, on second thought, in Master Quest, there are sometimes things that are like, you know, they don't show up as chests, but they... Wait, 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 actually... That's not gonna work for me. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, so that, that's blocked off. I came through that door, right? Yeah, I came through that door. <laughs> Uh, what if I were to plop down this one? Because I'm pretty sure this leads to a different fleshy spot. Yes, it does. Um, okay. There's a cow there. <laughs> why? Just why? That gives me Deku nuts and the treasure chests for whatever reason. <laughs> okay, that 
Oh, and uh, if you ever go back to Princess Ruto over there, she'll scold you for leaving her alone, basically. And I'm just gonna... Like that. And, okay, what's in here? Bomb shoes? Bomb shoes? I got bomb shoes now? Yeah, these are bomb shoes. They are like bombs, except they move. The, though they are a rare item. Once you run out of them, you can't get any more. You can buy more at the bomb shoe market at uh, Hyrule Square or Hyrule, Hyrule Castle Market, excuse me. But as for now, you're pretty much limited to those poopers right there. So use them very conservatively. I'll use them if I need to. I recall a bunch of stuff that I needed to use bomb shoes for in Master Quest. Even though bomb shoes were completely unnecessarily, uh, <coughs> excuse me, unnecessary for every single dungeon in the game. And I just realized I am over the 15 minute mark in this part, so I think I'm gonna end it off here with Princess Rudolph scolding me. How oh, inconsiderate! How could you leave me behind? If you're a man, act like one! Take responsibility! I'm afraid I'm gonna have to leave you behind a couple times, just like I did before, because of the fact that you are gonna help me solve puzzles, so... Sorry, Ruto. You're just gonna have to deal with it. I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next part when we figure out what the heck we're supposed to do. Hey, stand still. It's gonna be harder to carry you if you're flailing around.